Follow with the corner for England. <laughs> Phil Thompson's come forward to this one. Keegan glancing it in there. Phil Thompson. And a save on the line. And they hook that away in desperation for another England corner. This is Albertson. That's Osmond's easy ball. A cushioned header there for Brian Robson. Now Mariner. Still no goals here. With coming up to a quarter of an hour gone. Keegan, the little backward header. And England coming in here. And Robson. A goal! Yes, it's given! England's breakthrough, Brian Robson the scorer, look at it again, the one they badly wanted, he really forced his way through there, past the keeper, past the defender Grondalen, on the ground, and hooking it in for an important first goal for England, Ron Atkinson. Well that's just the start we wanted isn't it, we've had all these superior play, we've now capitalised on it, this is due to sheer persistence, watch him go past here, it's nothing more, might have been a suggestion of handball there actually, Goes round the keeper, stumbles, persistent, and uh, I think I'm right in saying that's his first goal for England, and he'll never score a more important one. But on the far side, Harider I see has come up, Auckland's there, Paul Jakobsen's in there, Anderson's in there, and it might come for Russell Osman, and a good save by Ray Clements, and a very important save as well. So Lunt with a corner, floated in there, punched away though. Knocked out again that time by the skipper Torreson once more to Lund. There's a good cross coming in once more. And it's gone in! It's gone in! And Tommy Lund and Albertson are there. And Norway have equalised. It must have just been a touch by Albertson. Although I think Lund will say I wouldn't mind claiming that myself. There he is, he's saying, yes, it just touched at Albertson. Well, the point is that it is a goal for Norway, and they are level at 1-1. A disaster for England. Lunt. Well, the space here for Albertson, who's made some very good run forwards from the midfield. Lunt now playing it for Auckland on the far side. And McDermott not there, there he is, and a goal! has put Norway ahead a terrible mistake there by Terry McDermott and there's the goal and Glenn Hoddle will take it Mills has gone sprinting down the left here that's a beautifully weighted ball by Hoddle and a good cross coming in for Mills for a Mariner rather McDermott playing it wide again for Mills here's Hoddle turning right foot crossing this time towards Mariner once more once again Francis on the far side looking to get to that byline succeeds in doing so pulls one back for Keegan headed off the line and Keegan no the flag was up and England came close there it seemed to getting the equalizer but the flag was up headed off the line by the Norwegian captain five minutes the second half gone and Norway leading by two goals to one. A flick there and it's Jakobsen in and Clements has saved. Well that was another heart stopping moment for England and another goal there and I think we would have been dead. Suddenly Jakobsen was through and uh, at least it was a half stop by Ray Clements and he was able to dive on it the second time as Jakobsen was put through superbly there by Tommy Lund. As England try to work it forward again, it's Mariner feeding Keegan there. Keegan now trying to repair some damage, and Mariner sweeps it just wide of the far post. Auckland has a nice ball played in there for Tommy Lund, and a good advantage there played for the Norwegians. Into the side netting, though, and again the Norwegians get it away with Albertson, a long ball forward. Oh, and a slip there by Phil Thompson, and Jakobsen is through. It could be three, and it's saved by Clements. My word, we were nearly out of it then. In fact, it's a throw for England, Kevin Keegan with it. My word, how he's fought tonight. Phil Neal rifling one in there, the keeper well behind it. And as well for him, he gathered it up because Mariner was on him. 
tension here is incredible as it must be for you at home wondering whether England can possibly get themselves back into this game in the minutes that remain Mills running over it Barnes floating it in there and a header down and wide there oh for a goal for England now Keegan played in again and it wouldn't come and in oh almost the strangest of own goals and the referees added almost two minutes of injury time but it's over now and the impending disaster for England has become a reality with Norway winning by two goals to one their goals from Albertson and Tollison after Brian Robson had put England into the lead well you can only say that it is a total disaster there's the group table and that says everything Norway go up into third place but suddenly Romania and Hungary become the favorites to go through to Spain uh, next summer and England become rank outsiders. It's a sad story we bring you from Oslo as I hand you back now to Jim Rosenthal in London. And our thanks uh, to Brian Moore there in Oslo. So really what a disastrous night for English football. And let's just confirm the details of that uh, group table that you saw briefly at the end of the match there. England still top uh, with seven points but Romania look at that now with two games in hand and just a point behind and the Hungarians there they've only played four matches and with three games in hand and of course Hungary still to visit Wembley but uh, John Bond you're looking pretty depressed like we all are here in the studio it's difficult to raise a smile for English football after what's happened out I, there in Oslo I don't understand it Jim I, I watched them play against Hungary and they were magnificent I can't understand why there are too many players in that England side tonight who didn't show the same enthusiasm for the job uh, that Kevin Keegan did. I heard Ron Atkinson say that everybody gave everything. I would question that. Mm. I felt that there was people just in the last third of the pitch just content to just hit balls and hopeful balls into the penalty area, hoping that Keegan or Mariner or with when he came on would do something with it. I didn't see any good running from the midfield people or anything like that that I saw in when I watched the, the game in Hungary. I, I mean, there's something wrong with us when we can't turn on two performances alike. Mm. Do you think we've got any hope at all now, John, John, of going through it? It looks very, very dodgy now, doesn't it? Well, I'm always optimistic, and I, when I look at the table, Jim, again, yeah, Romania play Hungary, I think, in Romania, and if they beat them and then we beat Hungary at, in, uh, at Wembley, then we've got a great chance still. Yes, it's, uh, it's a terrible situation for us, really, isn't it? Ron Greenwood apparently came close to resigning during the summer. Do you think he might now, in the depression no. of this defeat? No, no I, day? no, no, I think that he'll think that he's still got a chance of, of surviving and still got a chance of going to the finals in Spain, and I believe that he still has. And uh, whilst this is a disaster tonight, and it doesn't do nothing for our football this year, uh, we've just got to cling on to the hopes that we've still got with us and hope that we do pull it through and, 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 and make it.